Hi, I'm Wayne Montgomery, and I'd like to demonstrate uh, making a part on uh, a lathe with a duplicator, with a Vega duplicator. And I'm going to start out with this block of wood. Uh, it's walnut, happens to be walnut. And I'm going to uh, then rough it on the, this lathe, and then I'm going to rough it on the duplicator, and, and then finish it back on this lathe, and then there's some final sanding that has to be done. So the first thing we're going to start out with is this block of wood in the lathe just to turn it round and get the rough shape. It's a real fast operation as far as roughing is concerned. Okay, that's the rough turning operation on this lathe. Now we're going to move over to the lathe with the duplicator on it. Okay, uh, this is uh, the uh, lathe with the duplicator on it. Here's our rough turn part from the previous operation. Now we're going to place this in the uh, duplicating lathe operation. And we're going to get the, the final rough contour. This is a real fragile part, so it takes a little bit of doing to, to get this contour. Take a duplicator, you always have to work downhill with it. You're controlling the depth of the cut and the feed rate by hand. This is a real fragile part, so your feed rate and your depth of cut have to be very slow and gentle. Over here you can see the finished part that the duplicator uh, following pin is tracing against. And this part has taper on it. It's about the size of a number two pencil. You can see how this follows that part. So here we are. We're done with this rough contouring operation on the duplicator. Now we have to go back to the other lathe and finish some of the other cuts because the duplicator lathe operation does not take it to a finished part. Okay, this is a continuation of this. This is a third lathe operation and I'm going to make a few cuts here that are going to give us our finished part. And, uh, Because on the duplicating operation, you can't get the, the final, the final uh, shape of the part.
right now just a little bit of final sanding and what this is is a uh, supposed to be a mushroom on a stick made out of walnut wood and Now we're ready to go through the bandsaw. We're just going to cut the ends off and do some belt sanding on the shank of this to make it look like a textured walking stick. And there you have it.